What's up, YouTube? It's snowing outside and it sucks, but what can you do? It is what it is. But you know what also sucks? Uh, one of our team members quit. Uh, RJ quit, actually. And it sucks, and he didn't give me a reason why. Uh, usually you're supposed to give me a reason why you're supposed to quit. But, you know, he just said, yo, bro, like, I'm quitting. Gotta do my own thing. And I was just like, are you serious? Wait, 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 wait. Quit? Quit and how the f did you get in my house? Try to keep me down, but I just get higher. Hey, what is up, YouTube? What is up? <laughs> what is up, vlog? Vlog. What's up, you guys? <laughs> ECP. ECP in the house. What's up, you guys? It is confessional time. Yeah, I still times. don't know how you got into my house. <laughs> I think he like dug his way into like the sewer and then went through my. <laughs> Yes, my, I did. Okay, you have a problem with my that? My toilet, um... Problem? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I found well, this I guy. I him, like, sneaking underneath my bed covers. <laughs> I was like... Anyways. But yeah, a lot has been happening. A lot has been happening, really? Yes. Oh, so what's new with you? So, I've... Just done a lot of reevaluating of my life goals and just figuring out, you know, the direction of my life. And that's when, you know, decided to. What did you decide to do? I decided um, that it was time for me to get pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> but really. All jokes aside, I've been spending a lot of time in the basement making so. <laughs> okay. What you've been making okay. down the basement? This is too much joking around. I have been um, just doing a lot of like reevaluating life and figuring out my goals and what I want to do as far as my future, just because I'm getting a lot older. I've decided to transition into a new field and with that um i decided to go back to school really and you know with that supplementing it with the proper work position and job position so i am going back to school um i mean just to give you a better idea of my um school history and education background i have been <coughs> in the healthcare for about clinical healthcare for about roughly five years um you guys are aware that you know we have rose who's a nurse josh who's a med tech and harold and it and june is a music producer dj oh, i did a lot of life goals about what I was really meant to do in life and that's when I did a lot of research and I did soul a, searching. I did a lot of soul sort soul searching. <laughs> soul searching. searching. Um that's when like it kinda just traced back to like me always wanting to go back to school. I'm getting older and I wanna pursue a higher degree and as a little background, I have been in like the clinical healthcare field as a nurse aide and then a nurse. So you were in the nursing field? Involuntarily. <laughs> Involuntarily. Due to being an Asian family and Filipino family. But anyways, from there, I really just did a lot of like personality and aptitude tests. And, you know, I found that, you know, I was meant for healthcare, but I was not meant for the clinical side. And that's where like, I discovered another side to healthcare, which is healthcare administration. And with health healthcare administration, if you guys don't know what it, what that is, in case Harold wasn't gonna ask I, me. I, I was like gonna say like, what is healthcare <clears throat> administration? So just give you like a brief idea of healthcare administration. Cause a lot of people just assume that healthcare it's like with like nurses, doctors, the people that are straight up front with the one-on-one -on -one care with patients. And there's another side to it. There's an administrative side. And with this administrative side, healthcare administrators, <clears throat> you're basically overseeing, you're managing, um, you're, you're facilitating, making sure that everything runs smoothly. You are like the heart of the company. You're the heart of the 
dispensary, pharmaceutical company, the hospital, um, the nursing home, whatever it is, mm-hmm. you are the man of the house. Okay, okay. So you, <clears throat> you make sure everything runs smoothly. You make sure that the protocols are going the way that that they're meant to do to be you make sure that the employees and the staff are doing what they have to do you're making sure that the meetings are set up you're coordinating and making sure that all their paperwork and the message is being sent to everyone um at a timely manner so you're basically just the the core of the company you're the one that makes sure that everything um, is running smoothly, smoothly, basically. So, <clears throat> what's the difference between, like, with the, like, you know, you're managing, you're coordinating, and so what's the difference with that one, and what's the difference with, you know, the nurse managers? Like? Well, the nurse managers are basically, they're just managing the nursing department. Okay. As far as a healthcare administrator, you're managing everything. You're managing the nursing department. Mm-hmm. You're managing the administrative side of the, um, company you're managing the physicians you're Mm -hmm. managing to make sure that the patients are getting what they're meant to get Mm -hmm. you're doing you're overseeing everyone and everything in that office and in that facility so so like well are you like higher rank than a doctor or are you in the same level i would say that we're kind of like in the same level as a physician as a doctor I don't even, you can't really compare it because they're in the clinical side. That's what I'm saying. True. As far as like the administrative, that's a whole different company. But yeah, you're basically like the, the manager of the whole facility, not just one department. With the nurse managers, <laughs> they're only managing the nursing department. They're mm-hmm. not managing the administrative side of a hospital. Okay. They're not managing like everything outside of nursing they're mm-hmm. just staying within their field in that uh, department okay you know administrator they're overseeing everything they're everything everything in the, in the hospital everything wow yes wow that's a huge responsibility which is why like you know a lot of these could be like ceos of company healthcare administrators they mm-hmm. could become essentially ceos mm-hmm. damn that's insane so no, this guy could be the CEO of a hospital one day, you know, if you work hard at it. Maybe, if I want to get my master's. Damn. That's we'll in- see. That's, that's crazy. One step at a time. Exactly, one step at a time. Do you uh, work too? I do work. Really, where do you work at? So with, with, before I even get to that, like, I did a lot of research with schools, but I've also talked to, like, school advisors and i've also networked with people that are in healthcare administration you know and their advice for me was to go back you know find a position that would be able to like supplement you with your degree path and with that um it's a lot of clerical work a lot of the administrative duties so like as a nurse i know that since i'm starting in a new field that start from the bottom and work my way up um so it's the basics of clerical administration, basic duties, but essentially I know I'm not gonna be stay within that after I get my degree. In the long run, I wanna possibly manage like a pharmaceutical company or if I really want to like maybe become a hospital administrator. So right now I am a patient service represent representative at a medical office, doctor's office. Um, and I do a lot of like the administrative clerical work. Yeah, and how, that is what I do. How's the new job going for you? It's a huge transition. It has its ups and downs. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay. Um, are, you, are you still new to the company? Or? I am pretty new. Okay, so you're not still really still in much, training. Still in training. Okay. That's how new I am. Oh, still new. So in training too. So can't really say much since you're still new. Yeah. It's not like you've been there for like three or four years and you can say something. Yeah. You know, so is there any uh, like advice or tips that you can say for the viewers who are in the same position? I mean, basically, it, it, it doesn't even necessarily have to be people that are in my position, but I, I want this to be targeted to high schoolers who are almost graduating high school and they're planning on going to, to college. You need to make sure that you know what your interests are. 
what you're good at, what you really, what you want to do, um, what you want to pursue, and taste um, different things, of course. Yeah, and you know, just follow your dreams, because I mean, you're gonna have advice from family and friends to like lean towards a certain degree or field. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's right for you. So you just need to make sure that you find something that you really, really like, whether or not it's taking aptitude tests and personality tests. And that's the one thing that I really wish I knew that I did mm -hmm. before I even started college, because I started off in college and decided that was like the worst mistake, one of the biggest mistakes that I've ever done. And then that whole like party phase. But anyways, so I want you guys to really make sure that you know what you want to do in life. And if you are in this position, I apologize because it's not the easiest position transitioning to a whole new field. It really, really sucks, but at the same time, it's a blessing in disguise. You have to know that. It's okay. It's not the end of the world because, I mean, you could be in like your 30s. You can be like in your 40s. And if, if this is a life, you know life-changing ex experience for you then go for it um, because in the end ultimately it's your life it's it's not your friends it's not your moms your dads or whoever this is your life and you need to follow your dreams and you need to go after what's meant for you i agree with you because of the fact that not every college degree or education is equal actually you have to go you have to go follow your dreams, but at the same time, know if your dreams can map out and relate to your degree, then that's perfect, yeah. you know? Because, like I said, not every degree is equal, you know? There's going to be other jobs where they're going to have, I'll say, more higher salary, yeah. too. And, you know, if you go to art school, which is not a problem at all, you know, if you make the best art in the world, you know, people are going to see your stuff. And the market's gonna be like, oh my god, I love your, I love your art and everything. And people will get famous off that, which is awesome. Yep. You know, so you gotta follow your dreams no matter what. You know, regardless of what your parents say to you, you need to just follow your dreams. Mm -hmm. But even before you follow your dreams, you have to really know what you want. Your dreams are exactly taste different um, things because that's that's how you'll know for a fact what you really want to do in mm -hmm. life and for the rest of your life. That's the hardest part of figuring out what you want and sometimes it'll take you like a year or two but hey as long as you follow your dreams and pursue it that's all that matters so for the viewers out there if you can relate to us and if you're if you are transitioning from high school senior to college and really want to know what you really want to do comment down below because we want to know what your major is if you're uh, regardless of what major you're in or if you're actually uh, making the switch when you're in college and you want to switch to uh, switch majors of course let us know what major you're into thanks for watching you guys thank you stay tuned for more videos please like subscribe follow share all of the above don't forget to follow our social networks and stay tuned for more rg rags <laughs> Stay tuned, all right? ECP! ECP, what? What? Yeah! What's up, YouTube? What's up? <laughs> Hold on. What is? <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. <laughs>